Here are the latest COVID-19 numbers on this Monday. North Dakota is reporting 287 new cases in the state, along with one new death. Overall, 193 people have died in the state. In Minnesota, that state reports 937 new cases, along with four deaths. Nearly 2,000 people have died. An outdoor fundraiser in Fargo was cut short over the weekend after a volunteer tested positive. Outdoor gatherings are seen by medical experts as a safe way to reduce the spread of COVID-19. But as Valley News team's Joshua Pagaro explains, constant changes in health guidelines are making things difficult for area nonprofits. Jeremy Robinson says he's on a quest to end homelessness in Fargo. So that hurts to see. As, as, as much as a given community this is, and as many shelters as there are, I mean, it hurts to see all these homeless people. But his mission was aborted when a volunteer tested positive for COVID-19. His group, Life Packages for the Homeless, held an outdoor fundraiser Saturday in South Fargo that the volunteer attended. They called off day two on Sunday. We had to cancel the event. Like, there was, you know, we're not going to go out and risk anyone else just because, you know, it's not, we're not trying to, you know, hurt the community. We're trying to help. Although organizers canceled Sunday's event at this parking lot as a precaution, doctors that I spoke to say that the best and safest way to hold such an event is outside. The guidelines by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have Robinson and others confused. Recently, the CDC said it was possible COVID-19 could spread through air transmission. A couple of days later, it reversed course, blaming it on a website error. It is a virus of indoors and it is a virus of large gatherings. So the biggest thing you can do to reduce your risk is just move your gathering outdoors. That's, that's the best thing you can do. A Sanford doctor says it's a good thing that the CDC is constantly updating and changing its policies. You cannot understand a disease process overnight. Uh, it takes a while to uh, gather all the data and make sense of it. So every time we have new information, we revise our recommendations accordingly. So this is, this is healthy. This is not something that we should worry about too much. Still, Dr. Avish Nagpal says wearing a mask and staying six feet apart are key for preventing the spread. In Fargo, Joshua Pagero, Valley News Live. Fargo Cast Public Health tells Valley News Live while it doesn't have the authority to approve or deny an event, they recommend holding it outside as opposed to inside. Up next on Valley News Live at 6, hear from a Fargo firefighter who talks about the long working days battling flames in Oregon.